Multi exclusive dimensional being Kai with another exclusive. Today's video is going to be about reincarnation. Because what is reincarnation? Look at it like this. Who is reincarnation? You got to basically always go for the source when you're trying to get down to a circumstance situation. Now, we already know the whole term of re. Re means redoing something. Re up. Regenerate. Receive. Rebuild. Restructure. Feel me? You can tie these. It's the same thing. Anything with the word re in it, you can always add it. Feel me? You can always add on to it. You can always utilize it and push it out. Feel me? Because what goes in got to come out. What goes up got to come down. So when we talk about reincarnation, this is a spirit overall. Not the overall, but you know, a lot of spirits pretty much take these roles and pretty much they penetrate and utilize this for what they utilize it for. And when we talk about reincarnation, this is dealing with, because you know you got three forms, which is basically your spirit, which is your space, which is your um, unconscious, which which you're not unconscious, which you're unconsciously aware of, which we all know that this is basically dealing with something that you can't see. There's ways for you to actually get with the overall, which is your higher self, which is your spirit. There's many ways, of course. And this is the only one way to do it is, is within. But we all know that we all got to bring our three vessels together and combine them together to utilize them and push and initiate and create what we need to do as in pushing forward into life. So when we talk about this whole perspective of three bodies, you got your spirit, which you can also tie this to the rising sign and your zodiac, which is your, which is how you rise. You rise above. Your spirit always is rising. Feel me? Spirits come low, but the spirit is always first. That's that's what came first. Feel me? That's basically the birth portion when we're talking about rising or when we're talking about basically that pers perspective. And you got your soul, which is your feelings, your emotions, the way you express yourself, your experience, which came second, which is time, basically. Third is basically the death stage so basically this this is our body right here this would basically be the, the, the um death stage that we basically talk that i'm talking about right now that's basically what came last what shall be first shall be last what shall be last shall be first so basically when we are we already know the whole purpose of reincarnation is basically redoing something rehabilitating and basically being reborn into another body but into another realm of what you're consciously aware of. Now that's dealing with the consciousness. That's dealing with the, with your two eyes, which is your body, which you see with your two eyes, which can be brought down into existence, as in the matter, feel me, as in basically solid, which you can see with your two eyes, which is the energy realm, which is which which is what you gonna be experiencing on, the, on a day to day basis when you open your eyes, when you basically close your eyes, that's you going in your inner world, that's your subconscious to your unconscious. Then when you basically shut get out of that circumstance situation you get birth right back down from your um higher self to your soul conscious and basically to your human conscious so basically when you bitch when you open your eyes that's what you see with your two eyes that'll basically be reincarnation now there's another there's another form too what, what is called incarnation it's basically this is reincarnation is basically re-coming back into the body incarnation is basically you being consciously aware of something new now that would basically be what you're aware of, what you see your two eyes, whether you're dealing with a reincarnation phase and whether you're dealing with something that's being pushed out. Now, also, when we talk about decarnation, that's basically detaching and getting away from things that you're consciously aware of. That's pretty much what it's being utilized for. And that's what everyone needs to be basically be doing. If you don't want to experience something, you decarnate from it. Of course, you're already you're already incarnated. You're experiencing it and pushing, picking it up with your um two eyes, and you're picking it up with your, with your vessels, which is your subconscious, the way you feel. Feel me? And of course, your spirit, which is your space, which is your circumference, which is your circle. Basically, that's what you're receiving. And feel me? What you see is what you believe is what you receive. So you can also tie this to what you do on a day to day basis, as far as redoing something. Things that you don't like doing, things that you pretty much don't really resonate with, and that's basically working a nine to five, going to going to church sometimes, going to school, going places, got to be somewhere, time structure, for me. That's dealing with earth. That's dealing with things that you're consciously aware of, for me. Of course, we all got these scenarios where, as in, we got a whole separate thing. Now, when you got to look at it like this, our spirit is our space. 
feel me? And once that getting triggered by somebody else, all hell can break loose. We all need our space. We all need our way to basically think and express and come up with our own way of doing things. Some spirits need this. Some spirits need to learn from, to do this shit. Yep. Feel me? Because at the end of the day, you always got yourself. You came here alone. You leave it alone. So in the saying, understand, you only got two. You can't rely on other people, places, and things to basically try to hold you down. No. You got to make sure you put yourself first. And if you ain't putting yourself first, then things is not going to go into your perspective and natures. And you're going to witness trials and tribulations and frustrations. Now, basically, when we talk about reincarnation now, this is shit that your Bible or this is shit that your religion basically talk about. And now we're, we're, here we go again with the whole read thing. Redoing something. Reliving. Reincarnation. re Reciprocating, basically. Now, you see how the word re is in it? So that means that you're already programmed and they already psyched your mind to basically have you redoing something. To basically give giving birth to a spirit. And not basically giving birth to a spirit, but basically, of course, once you're in the program, once somebody, once one person is in the program, you tie the other person to the program, they, they have babies, they get pushed down like through generations through generations, and that's how it play out. And that's how people get trapped and shit. And you know, we all spirits. We all got our own way of doing things. We all got our own way of thinking, feeling, and communicating. And also, of course, when you got other spirits and shit that come in this world, and they're not with that religion shit, especially when they start to grow up and, and go through circumstances and situations, of course they're going to get the eye of, oh, this person is a demon. This person don't want to worship them. No, though, but the whole time, the person that's telling that person that they're a demon is the true demon. Because at the end of the day, who the fuck is you to basically force me to try to be something or be into something that I don't really want to be into. You got to understand and understand that shit. That, that goes for school. That goes with mathematics. That goes with everything. That pretty much how it's being played out. Feel me? Because you got to understand and understand. You're, you're, when you basically worshiping something, when you're praising something, you're giving your power to it. You're giving your attention to it. You're giving your mind, body, and soul to it. Especially if it's in a lower vibration, lower frequency. That's what you, basically what you're going to be picking up on a day-to-day -day basis. Feel me? And if you keep paying attention to that shit, 7-Eleven, you're basically going to keep coming back there and experiencing that whole circumstance situation all over again. Feel me? You got to understand and understand that shit. You ain't pick up your own. Remember, you a spirit. You free. They can keep the flesh. That's only if you allow them. But your spirit, your soul is always going to be moving around. Your spirit, your soul is always going to be experiencing. Now, it's up to you on what you're going to do. For me, remember, you was, created, you was created through the imagination. You was created through your creativity, your natures, and your belief is basically which, which, what everyone is going to basically be seeing, how you basically prescribe yourself, how you express yourself, which is basically your rising, your face. You feel me? Now, if you're not pursuing that or if you're not trying to learn something new, and trying to basically get away from other circumstances, situations, like try to learn something new and like get into other shit that's gonna benefit you and bring you to a higher domain, then that means you're not doing, you're not putting in no attempt work, you're not putting in no spiritual work, you're, you're not traveling to other planets, you're not picking up the uh, frequency vibrations and energies, you're not channeling the sun, and you're not going outside, you're not picking up no influences of what you need to do to basically get from point A to point B to point C. You're just basically being psyched up to pay attention or to what's down here and being controlled and ran by other spirits that's up there that's controlling the whole narrative and basically you're just witnessing trials and tribulation and frustration on a day-to-day -day basis and what are you going to do about it that's the that's the main question and your spirit is always going to put yourself in a catastrophic event to make sure you're breaking free from that shit but of course all these programs and shit that's going on and especially with the news too all the bullshit that they're talking about on the news of course you're going to keep paying attention to it you're gonna keep they're gonna keep talking about some damn virus. You're gonna keep putting all your mind, body, and soul into that shit. And all you're doing is basically fulfilling somebody else's cup. They drinking your blood, your attention, your feelings, your emotions, your your sadness, your your naiveness. They drinking all that shit and they utilize it for whatever they wanna utilize it for. Whether they want a new house, new car, money, business for constructions or whatever. Feel me? That's the whole purpose of being a spirit and a body and creating your own realm of reality. Feel me? Nobody said you had to work a nine to five and pretty much try to do this to get to make ends meet. Nobody said you had to do none of that shit. Society told you that shit. Feel me? The all seeing eye works for whoever they see that's putting in the work and psyching themselves up to get out of a circumstance situation. Now, if you're not utilizing the sun, if you're not utilizing the stars, because remember, they said like certain certain uh, religions don't really get into astrology. They said um it's divination. But if the book is telling you everything that's going to happen, that's a form of divination right there. So basically, it's just, that's some fucking, um, 
contradiction right there, basically. What, you're, what that book telling you not to do is doing it. But you're saying, but when you come across somebody that's telling you what to do, telling you from how to get a point, from point A to point B a whole lot faster and not be experienced in terms of trials and tribulations and giving your motherfucking power to something, you naive, feel me? But you be the same motherfucker that worship your birthday, which is a star, which is basically, you know. But we're not going to get into this pursuit. We're going to get right back into reincarnation. Because reincarnation is basically putting yours. Because yours, basically reincarnation is all, like, that's dealing with the feelings and emotions, which you're subconsciously aware of. Your spirit is always going to try to look for ways to basically find out new information or create new forms and new bodies. Your vessel is basically going to utilize itself to have earth and practicality usages on what it needs to do to um, get through the schemes and the fears. So, if you on the verge of basically staying fixated and not trying to be cardinal and trying not, to, not trying to move around and create shit and create the holidays and create and you ain't trying to be the motherfucker that's basically trying to get praise and shit, but not praise in a demonic way, at least basically be a face. Feel me? See, a lot of religions, they teach people to basically like feel vulnerable if they don't give praise or thanks to a, to a spirit that's outside of them at the end of the day that spirit was here before you that spirit did what it did is in a whole nother world now now every time you worship that spirit name every time you talk about that spirit or you giving attention mind body and soul to that spirit what that spirit is receiving is a whole lot of abundance feel me now you giving now that spirit is in a whole nother world still manifesting manifesting from off of your um residue and it's creating creating initiating whatever they want to do feel me and that's how people get caught up and stuck feel me because the bible didn't tell you to worship these things the bible tell you to basically be your own way of doing things and basically you know share the possibilities of helping other people places and things to get from point a to point b to point c make sure they have their own space and location now a demon a devil will have you worshiping it and praising it so it can receive its fruits and labors. That's like basically being a celebrity and shit. Feel me? How the fuck are you going to teach your um, fans to basically do do other things if you basically just want them to buy their music and, and praise them and basically do other shit? How? It's not, it's no hate and shit, but you got to really look at it as at the as the biggest, as the biggest perspective now. Now, if you're not utilizing what you came here to do and what you need to basically be focusing on, then how the fuck are you going to basically get from point A to point B? You're going to keep coming down here and praising shit and getting on your motherfucking knees and always being in, in a um, mood of needing, feel me? Knowing you have everything within you already. You have everything built. You're in a bigger shape and form now. Basically, you control these vessels and they basically, these all, all everything you see on your body is basically a star as a planet and it comes from a certain domain, feel me? And these, these are your bitches. And the stars in the skies is your bitches too. And if you're not using your bitches, your bitches are going to leave you. And your bitches are going to work for somebody else that's using your, that's using your bitches. Feel me? That goes to show, if you're not moving in life, people, places, and things is not going to try to move with you, nor work with you. Now, put that into perspective with who you worship and who you praise it to. Because whoever you think you praise it to is basically in that vessel. That you're praising to and giving worship to. Now the overall God got to work through that person you're praying to. To try to come through you in some way, shape, and form. To get you the fuck out of that perspective. And circumstance situation of praising somebody outside of you. Now find yourself. Find your spirit. And really take, take in consideration. That sun and that moon ain't up there for no reason. Feel me? It ain't. You just lost into the logic spectrum of the world. You don't see the world no other way. You just see it in a way of 9 to 5. Working hard. Going to school. And yada, yada, yada. Whole time, the motherfuckers that created that idea for you don't have to do that shit. They sit back and receive the benefits of the doubt. Why your ass working? Why your ass sweat, tears, and slavery? Why your ass not doing nothing? Feel me? And basically, a lot of people, another thing, another way of being reincarnated is being in a negative state of being. Negative feeling, emotion, negative thoughts, and ideas, and concepts. And if you stay your ass in that perspective... God and the universe ain't going to have no choice, but basically say, oh, you must love this shit. So you're going to come back here. You wasn't trying to do nothing. You wasn't trying to move around. You ain't do nothing with your spirit. You ain't do nothing. You ain't putting no work. You ain't putting no energies. You ain't harness the fucking energies. You ain't do shit. But somebody else did it. And you just pissed off because your ass is a spiritual hater. And your ass is reincarnated right back in the same circumstance situation. And people that's in, that reincarnates could be 20 years old looking 50 years old. So take that in consideration. Though. I love y'all. Find your spirit.